Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. P question. Note. This section contains one or more sets of questions with the same scenario and problem. Each question presents a unique solution to the problem. You must determine whether the solution meets the stated goals. More than one solution in the set might solve the problem. It is also possible that none of the solutions in the set solve the problem. After you answer a question in this section, you will not be able to return. As a result, these questions do not appear on the review screen. Your network contains an on-premises Active Directory Domain Services, ADDS, domain, named contoso.com, that syncs with a Microsoft Entra tenant by using Microsoft Entra Connect. You have a Fabric tenant that contains a semantic model. You enable Dynamic Row Level Security, RLS, for the model, and deploy the model to the Fabric service. You query a measure that includes the username function and the query returns a blank result. You need to ensure that the measure returns the user principal name, UPN, of a user. Solution. You update the measure to use the user object ID function. Does this meet the goal? Pause the video and give it a think and check the answer. The answer is no, because the user object ID function returns the current user's object ID from Azure AD for Azure Analysis Server and the current user's SID for on-premise analysis server, and not the user principal name of the user. Next question. Solution. You update the measure to use the user principal name function. Does this meet the goal? The answer is yes. The user principal name function returns the user's principal name, which is typically their email address. So it essentially gives you the name of the user in the format of their email. Simple and straightforward. See you in the next question.